Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. I thought I'd do this one standing, too hot sitting down. It's half past eight in the morning. It's already bush hot. Honestly, you think you're in the Canary Islands or somewhere in the Med. Uh, anyway, um, there's a nationalist group who, uh, who obviously have their desire and their beliefs that Scotland should be an independent country. And they want to hold a convention. I'm fine, I'm happy with that. If that's what they want to do, they go hire that hall. Invite those people, have that convention, talk a load of old rubbish, and then watch as it doesn't happen. And that's absolutely marvellous. Except this lot, they don't just want to do that. Uh, they want the taxpayers to fund this convention. They want to bring unionists on board because they want to try and spread the word, you know, uh, want to go out there like knocking on doors like Jehovah's Witnesses. And, uh, and say, look, come, come, look how good independence is, blah, blah, blah. And because they're inviting unionists, they want the taxpayer to foot the bill and pay three and a half million pounds. Remembering, of course, that independence is not really a thing. It's a minority view. They had the referendum. They lost the referendum. It's always polling as the minority view. Why should the taxpayer fund a minority interest? If they want to do it, put the hands in their own pocket. After all, if they think independence is going to happen and they've got the numbers, I'm sure everyone don't mind throwing in a tenner. But that isn't good enough because, no, it's important that we suck out of the public teat. You know, uh, financial vampires, that's all these people are. But they want to hold this, what they're calling it, a citizens' convention, um, where everybody with both sides of the part, or both sides of the opinion can come together and discuss things. And of course, that's not at all what it is. It's where they want to sort of go out there and proselytize and tell people, this is the way, you know, follow the teachings of the wise one. Bow down in front of your new goddess. You know, cranky. Don't think so, matey. Um, but it is, it, it is a, a very wonderful and weird thing. Now, it's run by a guy, and I've got his name here, Gordon McIntyre Kemp. Here we go. Gordon McIntyre Kemp. What a successful businessman he is. Uh, he turned £60,000, £50,000 uh, into a £600 uh, business. He, that was marvellous, isn't it? He, he lost £50,000 in a failed business venture. Uh, he's failed at business several times. Uh, makes you wonder how he's still in business, doesn't it? Um, but here, he says, no, 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 give me £3.5 I'll make it work. You know what? This sounds like... A scam, doesn't it? Three and a half million? That doesn't cost that much to hire a hall, send out a few flyers, invite people. And if people really cared, you know. Now, this, this uh, Gordon Kemp, it sounds like he's desperate to try and raise some money for another failed business venture. But it shouldn't be taxpayers' money, should it? They're all crooks. What is it about the independence movement? It's run by crooks. £600,000 here. £20 billion pounds there. Before you know it, you're talking real money. Anyway, we'll leave that. It just goes to show, though, that they are so desperate that they even want the taxpayer to fund it because they know they can't get enough of their own people to put their hands in their pockets and pay for this shit themselves. Thanks a lot. Bye.